Welcome to the Good Times I Share. Today we're sharing with you a baked omelette recipe that you can enjoy for breakfast, lunch or supper. Please don't forget to check the description down below for the ingredients you need. So the first step is we're going to prepare our vegetables. So we're starting with our tomatoes. So we're just going to cut them into rings like so. Setting that aside, we move on to our mushrooms. Here I must say you can use whatever type of vegetables you prefer for your omelettes. That will still go well. So we have our mushrooms, our papers, our tomatoes and onions. Then we're going to move on to our mozzarella. We're using low moisture mozzarella, which is mozzarella for pizza, which is good for this recipe. So just chop it up into cubes and then we're going to move on to our sausages. So I should say here use a type of sausage that you like. Uh, I prefer using this type of sausage because I like it spicy and so get something that you already like that would go well with everything else. So our sausage is ready. We have our sausage, we have our eggs, we have flour, we have our black paper, our garlic, our baking powder, our cheese and our milk. So the first step is you're going to put your six eggs into a bowl and just whisk them up before you add anything else. Then you're going to put in half a cup of milk and mix that in as well. Then half a teaspoon of garlic and one, one third of a cup of Parmesan cheese or whatever type of cheese you like. A quarter teaspoon of salt and then three quarters of a cup of all-purpose flour and baking powder, which is a teaspoon of baking powder and just sieve that into the mix. So whisking all this together, making sure it is nicely smooth. We're going to add in our black paper and we're just going to mix it in as well. So after that is done, we're then going to pour this into our baking tin or baking tray as the base. Use something big because you just want this to be a really thin layer at the bottom. So that it is not too thick, it cooks really well. So making sure to spread it evenly in your baking tin or your baking tray or your casserole bowl. Then you're just going to line everything at the bottom or your ingredients. You're just going to put everything on top randomly. And once the first layer is done, you're going to give your baking tray a bit of a shake so that everything can sink well into your base. And then we're going to put on our top layer. So we repeat the same thing. I use the onions just for the bottom part and not the top part. So once this is done, it is supposed to look like this. You can sprinkle some cheese on top, some grated cheese on top, but I like to put mine on later. So put this into the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes and it's going to bake this way. So after 20 to 25 minutes, this is what it should look like. It looks amazing. It tastes great. And it is a full meal in one tray. So I hope you get to enjoy this. So cutting through just to see how amazing it looks. I wish I could wait for it to cool down a little bit. But I think this would be more enjoyable as hot as it is. So it looks amazing. It looks really great and it does taste as good as it looks. So please try this. Let us know what you think. We hope you enjoy it as much as we do. This is something you can do on a lazy day when you just want to throw everything in one pot or in one tin and just leave it to cook for some time. So buon appetito a tutti. We hope you enjoy this. Until next time, it's bye-bye.